The only thought I had between my chair and this microphone in the past 30 seconds was please nobody say the word daddy. Because if I tell you that this, this is the first time I've ever written or come up with anything creative since April 13th, 2011, you might not believe me, you know, poets. We're supposed to write all the time, especially when things like that happen to you. But I, I shut down. I didn't want to write anything because as soon as they put my daddy in the ground, they may have well just buried a part of me with him. And poetry was the easiest thing for me to control, so I guess the only difference between me and a soldier across the field is that I, I at least can tell you why I don't want to write no more. Some of them may never come back home from war. Some of them, when they do, will flash back. They'll hear bombs, they'll hear Baghdad. Fireworks will make them duck, but see me. I don't have anything, any symptoms like that. The only symptom is when you say the word daddy, I get into a corner. I get quiet. I hope you don't ask me any questions. I hope the word daddy isn't filled in on an application because when you write the word deceased, something in you dies. And I remember, I remember going back to Chicago and I remember, I remember seeing him lay there and something, something about the visual just, it just wasn't right. You envision your daddy walking you down the aisle. You don't envision yourself walking your daddy down the aisle in a suit. Something about this was traumatic. Post-traumatic stress disorder. I have been on blood pressure pills for the last year and a half. The doctor asked what happened. I said, I just started eating a little more salt. I lie. This is the way I cope. So what I'm asking you tonight, Leaf, is that I hope when something traumatic happens to you that you don't eat the stress, that you write it, that you say it, that you tell it to anybody who will listen because this, this is not a disorder. This is not a disease. Sometimes it's a blessing because this microphone just gave me the first poem I've written in a year and a half.